All right, so folks, we're uh, welcome to today's used car marketing dealer strategy session. I'm Ryan Girardi. It's great to be here. I had a couple panelists lined up that uh, I last minute something came up, unfortunately. So you just get me today. We're here today to focus on preparing for summer. So you know, looking out, I just watched uh, Jason Rice. You know, he pointed out something that that. I, that we're all noticing is there's a, there's a buildup in inventory right now. Annual sales, the SARS rate right now is actually over 7.4, 17.4 million. This is new car SAR over 17.4 million and used cars is at 40. So right now all forecasts and predict predictions would suggest that we um, are going to sell more cars in 2019 than we did in 2018, which I don't think anybody would have seen coming and I do think there's a lot of speculation that that still won't be the case. Everybody I think expected for, um, for spring, right? Cause we just came out of spring. I think a lot of folks expected prices to really fall in spring. They didn't fall to the extent that we thought. So a couple news items, let's get into those real quick. Black book index dips uh, for the fifth consecutive month. Falling for five straight months, it's reading at about 1.4% higher than a year ago. This is the retention index on how long people are keeping their used cars. Uh, so uh, this was back in uh, early May. Uh, the April report came in at 113.6, which is about a 0.2% dip from March. So segments that saw a positive change during April included sporty cars, compact cars, subcompact cars. There's crossovers of pickups and SUVs in there too, full-size pickups, minivans. Everything really saw positive. Again, car sales are up, so we're seeing that. But the retention rate has dipped. So what does that say? Are people getting out of their cars sooner consistently, which I think would not be expected? Love to know your opinions. So what else? Um, Carvana, so the Auto News Top 100 Used Car uh, Dealer Groups uh, uh, just came out late last month and Carvana, which this is the first time hitting the top 100, they de debuted at, at number eight. Think about that. Uh, Carvana went public about two years ago. So last year they were not on the top 100 and this year they debuted at, at number eight. So in 2018 Carvana sold just under a hundred thousand vehicles, which was about double what they sold the year before. They're in 85 markets. Uh, by the end of 2018, they're in 85 markets. Now they're at just over 100, I think about 115, 120 markets. Carvana's has its sites, to, their sites are set on selling 2 million cars. Now to give you some perspective, CarMax is just under a million. Carvana's trying to get to 2 million uh, by 2021. Uh, CarMax is about one and a half to two percent of the used car market. Lithium Motors, Penske, I think Penske's number two, right? Um, they're at 283,000 used vehicles, just under 283. Lithia is at number four with 150,000. So we'll see. Something to keep an eye on. Carbon has come in strong. They're playing hard and uh, they are the real, real deal. So what else we got? depreciation seems to be on the rise. A report came out that depreciation on used vehicles expected to climb this year uh, as some of the factors that helped keep it lower in 2018 are starting to uh, peter out. So we had low interest rates, good credit availability, and high job growth. 2018, you know, uh, the U.S. economy just really headed in the right direction in so many ways, but that's pretty much hit a plateau. I think you throw in the, the tax cuts that came, you know, that were in there. Depreciation really held steady uh, at 12 and a half percent for 2018, which was down uh, just about a whole percent for 2017, down about four points from 2016. Uh, analysts basically say we've hit that peak and we're going to see depreciation uh, start to go back up. So yeah, lots to, th lots to think about. Um, here's a question for you. And this comes from uh, our good friend, Joe Pastel, who recently, congratulations, Joe, joined, uh, for, joined um, the team over at cars.com. He's now head of marketplace. 
Um, but Joe put out a good question to, uh, to, uh, to the group, which is how much do options and packages impact what cars you buy and how you price them? When you're buying, when you're acquiring these cars, whether they're on trade or whether they're coming from, uh, you know, private sellers off the street, uh, how much do options and packages come into play? We've had folks on to talk about the importance of using those as not bartering, but negotiation points, specifically negotiation points for uh, making sure you get the right price, right, right, make sure you get the right price offering. So let's do this. I just wanted to go over the main headlines. Again, um, retention rates declining, depreciations on the rise, surplus, seem to have a surplus on new and used cars. How's that going to impact used car business? Let us know your thoughts. Here's what we do. We record this, we release this uh, out into the Auto Converse podcast. Let me go ahead and share my screen again here. We do a lot more than used cars. We do used cars once a month, the first Thursday of every month. Here's what you can do. Uh, get yourself registered. You can come up, up here as a panelist uh, and join whoever's up here. We've had Jason Rice, Ed French, I had Stu Zalad last month, Gary Wade. Uh, love when he's up here. Um, just a lot of really good, knowledgeable guys. All of this is brought to you by Vehicle Acquisition Network, helping connect private sellers with dealers. Uh, you can go to buywithvan.com to get your free market analysis. Uh, on what's available in your in your market. Again, uh, Vehicle Acquisition Network can help you connect private sell dealers with private sellers of used cars. I'm Ryan Girardi. Thanks again for tuning in, keeping it short and sweet like we like we normally do. Uh, again, first Thursday of every month. Uh, please join us next month and um, have a great rest of the week. Good luck this summer and uh, keep your guard up. Lots to think about. Take care, everyone.